Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, new video for Analyst Weekly edition 7. This is the first uh, video in which I am having the review of Analyst Weekly topics covered. Because of my busy schedule in the mock interviews conducted for the CSE 2021, I was not able to take the review and uh, the kind of topic coverage covered in Analyst IAS Weekly. But other member of Analyst IAS was covering the exclusive topic. The basic objective here is that the hard copy you are getting of Analyst IAS Weekly or the soft copy you are getting by uh, being into the group of you know Telegram of uh, Analyst IAS or any other group or by giving miss call to the institute number the soft copy is sent to the WhatsApp number or whatever the Gmail you provide. I insist that you please go through all the topics, have a separate notings also because newspaper reading every day it is not possible. Then meaningfully attaching every article for JS paper 1, 2, 3, 4, again it is a difficult task. And our endeavor is to just have a smart work but also having meaningful work so that you can have most of the use that time that is available with you out of the kind of busy schedule out of the classes your routine things and your social life now here without wasting much time in analyst is weekly edition 7 we are having four major topics and followed by that three small topics the four major topics include police reform the fintech revolution then natural farming then national education policy then small topics include like assam arunachal pradesh border issue the heat wave uh, things are going on right in last 122 years we have not seen such temperature rise and also palm oil export ban by indonesia apart from this we are having questions of the prelims that will be covered by another member of Analyst IAS. And the questions of the main on the basis of topic given in Analyst IAS, we are having in the last page. So to begin with, what will I be doing? Let me take you to the questions first. After having the questions, you will be understanding that the meaning of the topic can be there in form of the answer for the question that I'm showing. So the question here, in the last page, we are having it here. The questions the first question is about the fact that. The problem faced by education sector in India and how can national education policy, NEP means national education policy 2020, address these challenges. So university grant commission came out with the dual degree program. It has also been covered. But you just need to see the question that education policy and the problems encountered in India. How shall we be facing them? Second question is that it is the time to transform the police from ruler police to the people's police. It's not that hunter police is coming to collect the tax like what happened in British era. Today, we need to be facilitator. Police is more a social agent, not a kind of security agent. Now, in light of this statement, discuss the need for the police reform in India. Content may vary from day-to-day -day input from the newspaper. Every day there can be new answers, but we will try to relate, uh, relate it to the content given in the topic police reform. The third question is with regard to the fact that India must build on its digital advantage and pivot towards more data driven structure of governance to truly lead this decade critically analyze. This question is of paper 2 of GS as well as of paper 3. If we talk about economy, there also we talk about digital currency. Here 
in context of fintech revolution fintech means financial technology revolution that we are talking about that biometrics will be used to have the financial transaction this question is there this question is from the governance perspective gs paper 2 <clears throat> and this question is again governance wherein social justice is also there we can cover it in the education topic wherein we have to write at length whatever is going on in the current scenario the fourth question is about the fact that what is natural farming discuss its benefits and challenges again paper 3 is talking about such topics but again such question can also be covered in the prelims which will be there just after a month from this day today we have 5th and on 5th june the black night will be there and you may be having kind of sleepless night i hope that you need to have good sleep so these four questions are there now we will be going directly for question number two then followed by that we can go for second question that is related to natural farming followed by national education policy and last but not the least fintech revolution now what is the objective here is that the natural reading you will be having in the analyst weekly soft copy or hard copy but after that what are the points that you need to note because we have to cover it here in this video all the topics very live uh, very less time is to be taken so what will i be doing that i will be telling you that content which has to be used in your answer the question was about the ruler centric police to the people centric police here in the police reform directly i am taking you to this expression given here now if you read it fully what you will be finding that law and liberty are the pillars of a nation democracy as well as its economic growth it is the time to transform the police from rulers police to people's police now it is known that we are into the modern democracy police is not able to have the kind of fear phobia on the educated people we all are educated we know our right it is not that constitution is confining itself to the documents only it is here in our mind we know the meaning of our rights but here in this article what are those things which have been covered the police is working on the basis of the police act 1861 and this year can take you to first war of independence 1857 after that the britishers wanted to give good gestures to the indian people that is why such reform came indian penal code indian evidence act criminal procedure code delhi establishment police act right uh, on the basis of it uh, this cbi as well as delhi police is working so that's how it is and the most important thing here we are having this this you have to you know include while writing the answer state police dgp every ips under that state cadre is reporting to the chief minister not to the prime minister because of schedule 7 under schedule 7 you are having maintaining public order and police and prison and that is why ips selected by upsc by center by this union is given to the state and we are not able to uh, you know maintain the central uh, reserve deputation river, reserve cdr and the state is not releasing the officers because it is because of schedule 7 sometimes for ips i am talking about exclusively here but when we talk about article 355 in context of state emergency which is called as president rule in in context of national emergency under article 352 if there is external aggression if there is war then what shall we be done it is not police which is sufficient to control the situation armed forces will be involved in such situation so that is why iv cbi cvc the even coast guard also navy 
army uh, army air force they all work in tandem and coordination with each other and this if you are making examiner will understand that this is a mixed scenario balancing each other when we talk about police reform it is not that only police reform has to be taken in this article if i need to tell you the other factor on page number 4 this article has been continued that was the first page to be continued after that on page number 4 we are here it has been explicitly told that police station is the basic unit of the police administration you might have seen the commissionerate of police dgp system of police then police station then police thana then beat system beat system is the smallest one wherein the constable is there whenever there is a report of a case ultimately beat officer who is of constable rank goes to the house and just address their problems whatever it is in kerala we are having a system wherein the beat officer or the beat constable has to know one member at least of a family and it is a, it is a kind of maitri bhav that we are your friend and whatever the problem is do let us know okay now if we talk about the ratio that per lakh indians how many police officers or police people should be there here you can find it here united nation says that 222 police per lakh should be available and india has recommended 192 so this you can note for your answer then apart from this this article has also explicitly shown that 51 police station did not have telephone did not have wireless communication and this is the report of bureau of police research and development how shall we be communicating to the uh, to the nook and corner of the country every village is to be connected at least the police people whatever security scenario is there minimum basic communication need is there we don't have wireless to anyway apart from this the scheme of the kerala i was talking about that janamaitri suraksha in kerala such community policing and democratic policing wherein police person can also be roped into the education things why not in the idle time a police officer who is inclined towards the education inclined toward teaching be used to impart the classes to at least school going children the perception will be changing that this uniform is not used for security scenario only but for education purpose so we are the building block here we need to understand that what meaning we can give to the police now coming now after this there are other point here we need to note that there was a case prakash singh versus union of india wherein if there is a complaint against the police authority what are the mechanism we are having only the recommendations we have what are those recommendation that state security commission and national security commission must be there if dgp is to be posted at least 2 years tenure has to be given to a dgp and there has to be three senior most officers out of them one has to be appointed as dgp it should not be a political decision that who is friendly to the uh, ruling party the then day time you ruling party we have to have dgp of that choice it should not be it has to be neutral one on the basis of quality apart from this the thing which has been shown here in this article that 86% of police machinery the constabulary is there the lower rank of the hierarchy we are having apart from this we are having other officers and if we talk about the women in women only 12% women are there in the police and if we talk about higher ranks this is further going down to 8.7% you need to note it down because whole article you can have a plain reading but uh, after all you have to have the use of the information that to aptly in your answer right so separately you have to write about the things apart from this in this article padmana bhaiya committee for police reform told that if the constable is 
to be the first point of contact with the police the recruitment of constable is very very important please raise the level of qualification please raise the level of the test or exam conducted for constable so that at least minimum basic quality hr in form of a constable people are getting because ultimately if fir is registered by that constable whatever report has been given then the journey starts the custodial death the death of the person without having conviction is there more than 100 from 2010 to 2019 covered in this article i just want to say that innocent must not be punished for uh, for at least god's sake and if constable is intelligent one will able to understand that yes prima facie one is not at fault and for this selection of a proper person is needed and that is what padmanabhaiya committee said review commission is also there second arc also there talked about the police reform and from time to time we are having the standing committees which are talking about it say for example here you will not be able to write because of the dark color of the font national police commission 1978 padmana bhaiya committee riverio commission justice malimath committee they have all talked about the police reform okay now also the very important last but not the least in this article the dual role of the police has been talked about that police is not a security agent but is a social agent having the autonomy accountability and efficiency and he is member of the public not of the police the kind of expression used in this article the data basic data is uh, i am saying if you if the examiner is reading his heart or her heart as an examiner will go gaga it is not lady gaga it is garden and garden so making use of the information differently makes you the topper that is a, that is what is needed now coming to another topic after the police reform we can talk about the nat uh, natural farming the question number 4 and after that we can come to the second page in this article basically it is in news because of the fact that niti ayog has given the road map so that more than 4 lakh hectare which has so far not been used we can use it using the natural farming now you might have heard about the organic farming you might have heard also heard about the natural farming the pesticides and fertilizers are used in the nor normal farming what is what is this there is also something called as mixed farming if there is a question that what is the difference between natural farming and organic farming both are pesticide free fertilizer free but still what is the difference in this article we have given the difference and the kind of similarity between these two both organic and natural farming are chemical free and there is no fertilizer is used which is chemical based but still if we talk about the difference that natural farming does not use chemical or organic fertilizer in the soil whereas organic fertilizers and manure is added in the organic farming and for this fact to explain or illustrate it further we have used the kind of uh, uh, manure is used in it say for example cow dung is used cow urine is used we also use particular crops say for example plant based extract pulse flour jaggery we use jaggery means good in the natural farming and we have also named because you have to write it in the answer first wheel in natural farming is bijamrit here it is written here bijamrit beej plus amrit this is uh, these are hindi word beej means seeds amrit means kind of thing opposite to this poison and you are having that nectar 
and will not be dying that Ravan was having in its Nabi. Second wheel is Jiva Mitra. These both are out of the cow dung and the old cow urine. Very, very important. Article 47, you can connect here. Useful of the animal, usefulness of the animal. Then the third wheel is about the mulching. You are mixing the uh, soil, plowing it and then tilting it to, to, to the need of the crop, particular crop. And the fourth wheel is having a technical word. It is, I need to write it here. It is Vaphasa means what? The soil has to maintain a minimum level of moisture. And natural farming is coming out of Mr. Subhas, agriculturist concept. Against the backdrop of green revolution started after 1960, which sucked the soil to the extent that the soil was not able to produce another crop next year. So, which is really not good. Sustainability is very, very important of the crop and we have to make use of it. So, these four words you can uh, write into in the answer that you write and there are important thing there are two policies of the government you need to note bharatiya prakritik krishi paddhati program bpkp and also another policy that is Paramparagat Krishi Vikas Yojana. Paramparagat, traditional way of farming. We have to have the mix of it in the modern farming. These two programs you have to write. There is nothing more important in this. But also the Subhas, Mr. Subhas, I was telling, agriculturist, Palekar. In 1990s, he gave the term. Also, this natural farming is the base for what is called as ZBNF, means zero budget natural farming. Farmer is not spending money, not taking the debt, not taking the loan, is having free will. At least the person will not be society because of the loan burden. This is the basic concept of the natural farming. We have the question and we have the content here. I will request you to just note down the difference between natural farming and organic farming and similarity. Who gave the concept? Two policies of the government that is related to natural farming. And also the Bijamrit, Jivamrit and Balching as well as Vafasa. This is very, very important out of this topic. I believe despite the paced performance of mine for this video, you are able to comprehend the content covered in this video. If any other suggestion is there, please do let me know in the comment box. If the PDF is to be there for you uh, and you, don't, you are not a member of any of the group, you need to just call the institute number that I want PDF or I want hard copy. How shall I be getting? it the person will be guiding you. okay now after this topic we can go for the national education policy in this what are the things have been covered first that dual degree program of ugc how shall the we be rolling it out let us see but it is good for us that humanity person Along with the technical degree or vice versa, it can be covered. Two humanity degree can also be covered. That's how good business is there for the university. And of course, the exposure is there available for a student to have two subjects at the same time. It is for the higher degrees as of now. Let's see that it can be connected to the uh, lower degree programs too. But here the objective is that we have to have the balance between critical thinking and problem solving as well as social and emotional skill. So MBA marketing, we talk about the social and emotional skill also so that we can sell our product. 
but also we have to have the critical and problem solving thinking so that we are able to understand the product the nitty gritty of it further developing it the nuances can be plugged and betterment can be involved or can be brought in so this is very very important then another data is there the universalization of school education nep is talking about that by 2030 100% gross enrollment ratio target is good but let's see that if we are able to achieve at least 85% it will be really a success i will say and in the higher education by 2035 it should be 50% that's fine icing on the cake it will be if it is for the higher education too now second most important uh, content covered in this article that india remains the second largest education system in the world with more than 15 lakh schools 20 crore 25 crores students and 89 lakh teachers please note it because if you are able to have memory of this data you can use it in the answer after that what is the most important coverage here in this article is that government or india out of its total gdp is spending 3% or less for the education but the desirable expenditure on education has to be 6% this can be there in prelims too that is why explicitly i have underlined it and in the answer for education for any hr topic please write that 3% to 6% we have to take out of total gdp education and health these are the two pillars which are very very important can make democracy more meaningful okay i am seriously taking this class because i have to cover this in a limited time my team told me to cover every topic so that the student can find more relevancy and after that the fourth topic is fintech revolution i am not very much well versed with the technical data but still i have the e governance topic from public administration and from my own polity and governance uh, subjects so here fintech revolution means what financial technologies it is having the four pillars in it first the from aadhar card they will be using biometric information so that the presence less transaction can be there then they will be including the account detail so for example pradhan mantri jan dhan yojana is there so as to reach every every person of the country one can have the account okay then the third is that the scalable transfer system is there like imps even upi bbps bharat bank payment system you must be knowing about it inclusion of it and then gst and digi locker to innovate these four things are there so that any system big system like paytm is there phone pay is there google pay is there but what about a new system say for example i have made a system i want to have presence less transaction how can it be done without any further leakage financial technology revolution is needed here in india if you talk about 2100 financial technologies are there this is the not decade it is decade technological decade we are into and it will be giving how many uh, lakhs job 26 lakh job by 2025 and we are third largest ecosystem after us and 87% rate of fintech adoption is there which is highest in the world thanks to the make in india program of modi ji which is different from made in india make in india means inviting the global community to come into india please make it then take it more employment generation is there and financial technology revolution is the one of the outcome of it and in this there are uh, other words say for example regtech and subtech this you can also use in your answer regtech means regulator technology and subtech means supervisor technology if i am doing something do don't i need a regulator yes to have more discipline in me and supervisor technology means 
when in the process i am working there has to be a supervisor to guide me that how can i do better so these are the small forms of the regulator technology and supervisor technology and there is something called as sandbags to the sandboxes sorry the sandboxes are basically connection between the rack tech as well as the fintechs because there are the common guidelines code of conduct code of ethics are to be followed the sandboxes are there to tell to guide the person this way we can go if any fintech is getting the problem out of the rule made by the rack tech that is regulator technology then there is a to and fro dialogue between these two so this is the fourth topic if i talk about the last three small topics before i wind up today's class or today's video arunachal assam border dispute is there which was reported because of the uh, you know area 800 km area of these two states basically in northeast hilly area and plain area were there and they were demarcated and one is today arunachal pradesh and the plain area is known as assam but in the adjoining at the bottom or foot hills of the arunachal pradesh there are areas which are under dispute and these area areas are the darang and lakhimpur district but it is not that simple that you can understand today's arunachal pradesh was before that it was union territory right in 1972 and before that it was known as nepa northeast frontier agency in 1954 and before that it was northeast frontier track by the britishers so neft nepa then union territory then statehood in 1987 this arunachal pradesh is having today and these two areas are because of the political reasons having the dispute between these two and the assam and arunachal pradesh they have you know decided to form a district level committee so that the boundary disputes can be settled second topic is the heat waves which is going on in last 122 years here it is there 122 years we have not seen such rise in the temperature but here is a new concept called as heat island effect what do we mean by heat island effect it simply means that the urbanization has added to the problem which is already there and the problem is of global warming and because of urbanization more methane because of ac fridge etc industrialization we have more problem so this is called as heat island effect and apart from this another small topic is palm oil export restriction by indonesia which is the highest or you can say biggest exporter of the world from april 28 they have banned it who are lover of palm oil because of uh, the fact that they use it for massage or for as the cooking oil there is a problem but i use mustard oil produced in india abundantly easily accessible suiting to me apart from this if sunflower oil is talked about then we are having the ukrainian crisis and ukraine and russia are the top supplier of sunflower oil india is the biggest importer of palm oil and indians are having lots of problem because of the rise in palm oil price okay so these are all the topics and last but not the least within a minute it is about the hepatitis b because it may be an offshoot that your liver is suffering from one disease or the another because of the after corona effects a b c d right d e these are the type of hepatitis that you know we are given immunization right under the universal immunization program of the government but still the water borne diseases food borne diseases 
even coming in contact with the fluid like saliva of the infected person we can suffer from the hepatitis b it is important because many countries including us uk japan israel and france that there is a rise in hepatitis liver related problems so please be careful stay healthy and what's more to say uh, we are having the courses here in this institute and it is same included in the analyst ias weekly please go through that we have covered four topics police reforms fintech revolution national education policy natural farming then three small topics like assam arunachal pradesh border disputes heat wave conditions then palm oil export ban by indonesia and hepatitis b the questions covered in analyst ias will be covered by another member of uh, analyst ias it will be there in the another video but now again i will like to wind up stay healthy and see you in the next video very soon till then jai hind